Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kaylin's tour of Amazon, the world's largest tropical rainforest. Do you know that this is a place that houses almost half of all the life on the planet? Do you know that this is a place that creates 40% of oxygen we breathe in every day? Do you know its nickname? Did I hear you say lungs of the planet? Correct. I'm about to tell you what you might have never heard of. And that is, the tropical rainforest isn't just lungs of the planet, but also its heart. To understand why, we need to look at the biotic pump theory. You see, water is driven from tree roots through the trunk, the branches, the leaves, and eventually evaporated into the air. And this is, as you all know, the transpiration process. Imagine when all the trees in Amazon work together, there will be like thousands and millions of flying rivers leading from the ground to the air. And now a bit of physics here. This whole area here above the forest becomes a moisturized zone with a lowered atmospheric pressure because air travels from high pressure to low pressure. So the moisture from far away, say the ocean, will drift in here, forming wind and clouds. And these clouds, along with wind, can bring rainfall inland and even to the other continents, all the way to Africa. So you can see the tropical rainforest actually acts like a heart pumping wind and cloud, which is water and nutrients to different parts of the world. Imagine 20 billion tons of water is created just by Amazon every day. Now, if each of us need three liters of water to stay healthy a day, the Amazon has enough to maintain the life of the whole population. So, ladies and gentlemen, if our lungs and heart got sick, we could get medicine, do surgeries, and rely on external machines to stay alive. But what if the lungs and heart of a planet got sick? What would happen? One less ecotourist site? No. No forest, no rain. And it implies the rise of temperature, the increase of the certified area, and the failure of agriculture. And all these mean we will be in big troubles. So ladies and gentlemen, should we continue to support deforestation for our own economic benefits? Or should we take action and protect the lungs and heart of our planet starting from today? I'm sure you all have the answer. Thank you.